Hey everybody, it's Party Lead, welcoming you to the dreaded 13th episode of our Village the Cursling Let's Play in Total War Warhammer 3. I often joke about how episode 13s tend to work out in my favor, but this time, just looking at the map that we have in front of us over here, I truly believe this is going to be a cursed episode. The Bay of Blades is almost certainly going to be taken, if not by the Wood Elves, then by any of the countless other enemies in the area, and then we'll see pressure applied to the Altar, as well as the Doom Keep. We have here, again, the Wood Elves I already highlighted, we've got Nordland, we've got the um, Vanaheimlings, not just one, but two armies. We also have Festus leading another army of the Fecundites right behind them. And of course, down south over here as well, I did not highlight this last time, but I did notice between sessions that uh, the Vanaheimlings have in fact expanded and are actually acting aggressively towards Dieterschafen as well, which is kind of cool to see that the enemy of my enemy is somewhat being my friend, but at the same time they're also very much being my enemy as they move towards our territories. So it looks like we're going to have been uh, there, I suppose, and, uh, and, and, and back again, as will be the title of this episode, almost certainly, unless something else happens that, uh, you know, supersedes those particular uh, storylines this session. Now, apart from the, uh, you know, aggression from our enemies, we also have a bit of a financial situation on our hands. We were able to scare this army off, but I do wonder if we want to chase them down and actually eliminate them, not just to reduce the amount of threat the Ice Court uh, presents, uh, but also to help our economy a little bit. Before I dive into that, before I get distracted by him, because again, the alternative, of course, is to stay focused on the task at hand over here and move both of these armies in this general direction rather than take a step up that way and then have to, you know, move that extra distance back. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, so, so before we make that decision, let's go ahead and make a decision down over here. I think it's time for Village to take a pretty, like a pretty big risk here. Uh, dive on into Dushika and eliminate this army. Uh, sack Dushika raise it eventually but sack it for that money and and see whatever money we can get from the battle as well because yes we are in that desperate a situation as easy as, as it would be to take fort ostrosk i think this is the right call uh, given our current circumstances now there are a couple of upgrades available potentially indeed there are the chosen of zinch and the chosen of zinch with halberds are available to us but i obviously i can't afford any of these upgrades that would be impossible yeah yeah we, we can't afford this and of course the upkeep costs would go up as well right so uh uh, yes, rather significantly too, from 213 to uh, 350 per turn. Yeah, yeah, we can't afford this right now, but I'm well aware that upgrades are available for some of our units. We'll see if the opportunity presents itself to actually apply those upgrades. With all that said, and with no time to waste, let's dive on into Dushika, see what we can pull off over here, and hopefully come out on top. Just want to mention really quickly, folks, uh, this episode is actually being recorded back to back with the previous episode. So if you had any comments with regards to what's been going on, or if you had any name suggestions, that's why they're not being implemented right now. It's because I technically haven't read them uh, because, or rather, I literally haven't read them because they literally don't exist yet because the last episode isn't even on the channel yet. Uh, it's just because I have... Uh, various things going on this weekend and it was either recording these back to back or not having this second episode uh releasing uh the sunday episode releasing so hopefully you guys don't mind but if you have any name suggestions or any comments at all in the previous episodes comments they will all get read still and uh, keep them coming of course for this session as well as you very well know by now likes and comments make a very big difference and just letting me know what people are interested in watching on the channel letting me know what i should keep doing what i should slow down y'all have heard me say it countless times so uh Let's uh, let's get on with it. Two patriarchs, eh? Yeah, sure. Let's take it to the battlefield. Here we go. All right, folks. Looking at a pretty familiar battlefield, I believe. We should be able to come out on top over here. I notice that there is a lack of anti-large on the other side of the field. So that should work in our favor, hopefully. Uh, but let's go ahead and channel magic and, and hope for the best over here. I could use just that little bit more to help us out nice and early. Oh, come on. My goodness. Look at that drop. Are you for real? That's the price I pay for taking risks. Let's begin our deployment, I suppose. And I think what I can do, actually, is... It's very tempting to spread our troops out. Uh, like we've done previously on this uh, on this battle map. Oh, I love that little tuft of oof, beautiful. Uh, I, here's what we're going to do. Yes, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to go ahead and deploy the majority of our troops over here and get some Chaos Warhounds up over there. So let's go ahead and get the uh, village up over here. Let's get Hesius up over here. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Let's go ahead and place these. Now, they do have a lot of horse archers, uh, so that's something to consider concern ourselves with. 
I just wonder how quickly we can shut them down with a couple of Warhounds and the Lamb of Zinch as well. Why don't we go ahead and get all three of them actually positioned over here, and hopefully they'll be able to move in and, and, and shut some nonsense down. We'll see. Nowhere to really hide, I don't think. Oh, maybe. Actually, you know what? They are able to hide in these trees. Can we get you guys up over here and hidden? We can. Yeah, okay, very much so. Fine. In that case, the Manticore, the Lamb of Zinch, will end up over here, I suppose. We could send them in. I mean, we could send them in from a few different spots, right? Go right up over over top and, and choose where to, 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 to dive in, I suppose. That is an option. Very well. Everybody else, though, comes, uh, comes to the other side. Cool. I don't mind that. What about these guys? Let's keep them on this side for sure. And let's go ahead and split our troops up over here. Let's get uh, these three on this side. It's a very narrow entry point. Let's not forget. It's a very narrow entry point. Uh, but let's let's try that. These three there. We'll get these two over here alongside Hesius, right? Uh, and these uh, halberds as well. Cool. Push them through. Push them through. Where are Thaumin's guard? Pull these guys where? Pull these guys over here for now. They'll move up and, and we'll choose which side we need them on. Get the giants in the middle as well. We'll choose which side we need them on. Uh, and with these guys, why don't we go ahead and pop them down uh, in the middle too. Again, that way we can kind of determine which side needs the assistance from uh, from some heavy hitters. Go ahead and group you guys up. Guard mode, please. Still have quite a few units hanging out on the other side of the battlefield. Um, I do wonder if I shouldn't just apply more pressure from here. We are in the trees. We are still hidden, so uh, we could stay sneaky over here and actually send a more sizable force through this way. I don't mind that, actually. Yeah, sure. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Very well. With all that said and done, let's push these guys up front so they're able to get shooting a bit sooner. Let's go ahead and apply some more pressure on this side. Why not? Let's pick a side, right? With that done, let's begin. Quickly now, quickly now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's really nobody here. Go quickly. Quickly, let's go. Push, push, push. Push all you up as well. Looking good. These guys are going to push in and start firing right away. We've got some uh, dervishes up over here as well. Getting some damage done. Got to pull away from those dervishes quickly now. Bring them back, bring them back. Our halberds are coming up. Send these guys in perhaps to intercept. I don't think they'll come this far back. We are firing away, I hope. Doesn't look like it. Send the trolls in. Let's go. Send village in as well. All right, let's try and tie those guys down. Keep pulling these guys back. I want to take care of that uh, tower as well, don't I? Ah, they're going to get away. Village, stay put. Get these guys back over here. All right. While all that's happening, let's go ahead and move these guys in as well. Quickly now. Try and capture that point first, I suppose. Or it, when we get to it. Not necessarily first, as long as we get to it at some point. Tower is taking some damage. Yes, it is. Keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. Uh, send these guys up this way. Send these guys up this way. Let's go. Crush some of their dervishes, I suppose. Get these Marauder Horsemen moving up this way. And send you guys up over here. Up we go. Quickly now. No time to waste. No time to waste. Let's go. Can I pop this anywhere? We have a nice spot over here, it looks like. Go ahead and drop it right there. Good stuff. And we come with some charges over here, I hope. Push, push, push. Let's go. And pop this as well. Like so. Let's see if that does any damage for us. In comes the bombardment. That's not too bad. These guys are coming with some counter charges as well. But in we go. Looking good. In comes the village over here. Not too bad either. In comes the entire swarm of Chaos Warriors as well. Right behind them, the Chaos Trolls as well. Good stuff, good stuff. And all the way in the distance over here, looking pretty good. The Warhounds are pushing through. Let's go ahead and get you up over there, capping that point. Let's get you moving up to here to cap this point. They do have a couple of Streltsy back there. Got to stay clear of that nonsense, obviously. And how are we looking up over here? This tower is almost taken care of? Almost. And the giant in this way, I suppose. Get the Halberds moving up. Village, move you up as well. Can I pop this? Where? Where do I want to pop this? That's a sweet spot, I think. Got a nudge over ever so slightly, but that'll be okay, I think. Oh, Hesius is actually not having a good time. He's pulling back. The tower's gone down. That's good, at least. I sent Hesius a little too deep in, unfortunately. That was that was entirely on me, of course. Let's send Village in. Let's go ahead and pop this over... Nope. Village. Come on now. Over here like so, please. That's not going to do amazingly, but it's something. Pop that, sure. Then you're a bit quicker. Let's go. Up over here, how are we looking? Capping that point well enough. These guys kind of got intercepted, I think, by these Strelsi. Try and keep them engaged. Finish capping that point. These guys are coming through. Okay, good stuff. Got to shut the uh, the Strelsi down, I think. Move in, move in. Down over here, Hesius is back. Good stuff. Pop this. Uh, yes, over. Here when you can, please. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Village is pushing in. Let's go. A lot of their troops are giving up. Let's go ahead and send these guys in. This is a huge mosh pit, really. 
huge mosh pit. Let's just push in, please. Village is coming through. Yeah, excellent. In goes Village. Get some work done over there. And up over here, how are we looking? Kind of rough. Kind of rough. Get out of there. Get out of there. Quickly now, quickly now. These guys are coming through over here. Gonna be horribly outnumbered. Escaping Doom. Escaping Doom, yeah, I'd say. How are we looking over here? Up one of these. Down there. I gotta really push through over here. Get you up there. Let's get you up uh, over here, perhaps. The giant coming through this way as well. In comes the bombardment, doing a bit of damage there. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Village is alright. These uh, trolls have come through as well. Let's go ahead and charge these Kossars in the back. The horse archers over there. Can I hit the, these guys? Up this, please. Trolls in there. Come on now. Push these guys up. Let's go. Giants in here as well. Good stuff, good stuff. We have pushed in, so that's promising. Can I get you coming up this way? Try to shut down as much of their ranged units as possible, right? Pull these guys back, actually. Did we actually... Oh, these guys have given up on the fight. Fair enough. As long as they've survived, which I hope they have. Pushing in, pushing in. This is looking all right. Trolls are still chasing after these uh, cost stars over here, looks like. Go, go, go. Those towers are going to cause us a lot of trouble unless we're able to push through. Can I pop this bombardment down over here? Let's try it. Village, keep pushing through. In comes the bombardment. Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. Down it goes. Excellent. End up over here. How are we looking? Looking okay, I suppose. Can try and shut this nonsense down. We can try it. See what it gets us. Get these guys... Ah, uh, actually, stay put there. Stay put there. Keep those guys distracted so they don't pile it on us down over here, I suppose. Though at the same time, it feels like we're taking damage from more sides. Send the giant in here, please, quickly now. In he goes. In he goes. Gotta move these guys up. I don't know why they're just not following through with the orders. But in comes the giant. Getting some work done. Yes, good stuff. Good rear charge there. Send you in up against these Kossars with spears. They do have some spears, it seems. These guys are giving up on the fight. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I wonder if we'll be able to replenish any of our uh, lost barrier. Send village up while we pop this up over here. Try and get some damage done, maybe. Come on now. Give me something. Give me something. Eshus, keep pushing you in as well, buddy. Gotta make sure we are, you know, we keep magic in range. In comes that hit. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Uh, I could pop this over here, I suppose. In we go. These guys are coming through finally. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. These guys are alright over here. Keep pushing you through. What's the deal up over here? Again, might lose a couple units. Oh, these guys are giving up on the fight. Might be time to pull back, actually. Pull back, pull back. Get out of there. Retreat, stay alive. We'll come back. Die another day. These guys are doing okay. Push through, push through. Balance power is slightly tipping in our favor. Send these guys back over here, please. Send you up there, let's go. Send you up there, let's go quickly now. Village up over there as well. Where's the capture point? That one? Oh, it's so far away. I'm actually wondering if it's better to push through this. Quickly now, quickly now. Got the trolls hitting at that. Let's go. These guys feeling pull you back a little bit. Got these guys breaking. Ah, uh, those are spears. Pull away from that. Push in, push in. Let's go. Get the giant moving in up over here. These spears are going to give up, it looks like. Good stuff. Promising. And in we go to the uh, barrier over here. Hopefully we'll break it. In comes the village once more. Dive in, buddy. Dive in. Don't need him to heal up or anything. I could try and use some of his magic up over here, I suppose. Do we have a spot? No, it's just too far away. What about up over here? Or even up over here? Sure. Try and hit these guys with his uh, magic. Up we go, up we go. Yeah, not a bad hit. Keep moving. Rolls, how you doing? Doing okay. Send these guys up over here, perhaps. Good spread. Yeah, these guys are giving up on the fighting. Excellent. Move Heshus up a bit more, please. No massive clumps. There's a small one over here we could try to hit. Let's do that. Let's pop this once more. Good stuff. Back up over here. How are we doing? Pulling away. Took a fair bit of damage, of course. Come on, keep falling back. The order is to fall back. Your own revenge. Don't die on me, buddy. All right, these Kossars are in a bit of trouble, it looks like. Doing okay there. This barricade's not going to go down anytime soon. We push through over here. Excellent. Let's move up this way. Village still giving chase. Go ahead and pop one of these. Oh, this would be beautiful if we can pull this off. If we can pull that off, it'd be nice, I think. Come on. Come on, give me something. Ah, uh, it was alright. It was alright. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Trolls are still working away at this. It looks like it. Sure. Keep on these guys, please. These guys are done. Let's push, let's push. Alright, the fighting's not done yet. Nowhere near done. They still have quite a few soldiers on the battlefield. In fact, they still have more than us, technically speaking. 
Not loving this. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, it looks like they finally pulled back. Okay, excellent. I would rather that. I would rather they pull back and survive. We'll find an opportunity to get in there again. And just distract the enemy, I suppose. Down over here. Looking good, looking good. Let's get rid of these Kossars as well, please. Pushing in over here, finally. Village is having a field day. Yep, pop this. Down like this. Hopefully cause a bit of damage there. Maybe even get some of these guys to break. Try to capture this point. Yeah, not too bad. Push in, push in. Push in. Trouble down here. The Aquila's doing okay, looks like. Got the Giant moving up as well, please. Send you up this way. Kossars. Pop this over here. Go ahead and pop that on you. Very low on health, Heshes. Very low on health. Hopefully that'll break these guys. Doesn't look like it. Get you up over there. Let's go. Heshes, Heshes, Heshes. What to do with you, buddy? Pop this over there. I want to try and keep him alive, obviously. I don't want to see him die. Need his barrier back. That's what we need. Where are you going? They're coming back because of uh, where the enemies ended up down over here. They have, like, circled back around us. Let's get rid of this tower, though. Eshus, come on, buddy. Stay above 1k. Well, he's not above 1k. It's too late for that. But we've got this done, so that's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and help the village up over here. Pull back over here. These trolls are in there with a the giant as well. Getting some work done. That's promising. Down over here, these dervishes have charged right into, I think, our halberds. They have indeed. That's good. Full barrier on those halberds as well, so that's promising. Village, let's pull you over this way, please. Take care of the ice witch. That would be nice and helpful, I think. Move you a bit faster, potentially. This is looking good. Eshes, just barely hanging in there, eh? Get out of there. Get out of there. Pop this. Over here, let's go. A lot of their troops coming, uh, coming from the back there. How are we feeling over here? Jonling's Revenge, get out of there. Need you to live. Send the uh, Warhounds in there, perhaps, to hold this guy in place. More towers up there now. A little troubling. Could try and go up and capture that point. There is a lot of uh, damage coming from those Kossars up there, of course. The barrier's full on uh, Nehesius again. That's promising. Let's pull you back. These guys are engaged over there. Let's pull, let's push, let's push. Bolt of change, perhaps? Hmm. I wonder... Bolt of Change or Storm of Fire? Let's go with the Storm of Fire. Down over where? You guys are moving right now, which is why I'm a little concerned about the uh, the Storm. Bolt of Change, it shall be. Very well. Down over there, let's go. And pop this on Heshus. I guess it doesn't really matter who we pop it on, as long as we pop it on somebody. Come on, village, let's move. Let's get these guys moving as well. What do we have over here? Kossars. Crush them. Finish them off. The Dervishes have given up on the fight. And we're looking okay over here. I would like to capture this point, though. That tower is going to cause us a lot of trouble otherwise. Get these dragon ogres coming back in now as well, since uh, most of the threat, I think, has been taken care of. You are on, what, bareback? That doesn't sound right. Uh, let's send these halberds around to, to try and take care of that nonsense. And let's pop this over here as well, quickly now. Do we need to heal village? Nope, village is still doing just fine. Ashes. oh my goodness. What to do with you, buddy? What to do with you? Pop this over here, perhaps? Maybe they'll move, maybe they won't. Got the giant in there. These are just Kossars, no, uh, no anti-large or anything. That's an alright bombardment. In goes the giant, at least they're not able to fire anymore. We're gonna capture this point shortly, that tower will be taken care of, that'll be nice and helpful. Giant, get in there, buddy. Yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Good stuff, good stuff. Point is almost ours, there it is, excellent, push in. These guys, what's going on, oh, we're going over here, Gavriel. Alright, fair enough. Uh, village, push in. Because she's pulled back all the way to there, fair enough. Balance of power is very much in our favor. Dornling's revenge. Why aren't you getting out of there? Get out of there, buddies. Come on now. Don't want them to die. Not like this. Very few of them left. Get out of there. Pull, 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 pull. There we go. They almost defeated uh, Mikhail all on their own, but... Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a tough uh, proposition, right? Fifteen of them left. Stand strong. How are we looking over here? Doing all right. These guys are chasing that way. I want you to chase this way instead, please. Oh, we're going to lose these halberds, aren't we? We're going to lose these halberds. Pop this. No, we're not going to pop that. That's too bad. It does look like these guys are very close to giving up, though, so that's promising. Pushing over here. Eshus, pull you back, maybe. Send buddy up there. Doing okay over here. In we go to the ice witch.
Cause some trouble there, perhaps. These guys have finally been engaged over here. Close to breaking, perhaps. Close to army losses. I fear we're going to lose these halberds, and I don't like the sound of that. Village, can we... Or can we pop one of these? No, we can't. Perhaps pop that there. And village, let's go ahead and pop this. Come on. Oh, it's so far away. He's so far away. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Quickly now. Pop this. Okay. Looking all right. Looking all right. Point is ours. Let's go in over here. Very close to winning it. Our troops have shattered over here, looks like. No, wait. Their troops have shattered. Indeed, they have. We're going to see shadows across the board. We are indeed victory and glory for Zeech. That was a very expensive battle. Pyrrhic for sure. But I will take it. I'm just not sure if we did well enough to like keep this army going, moving forward. Oh my goodness. We took a lot of damage. And yet at the same time, so many of these units took like no damage. The barrier really kicking in for some of these guys. I was very careless with those marauders. Very careless with those marauders. And took maybe too much of a risk with the uh, Warhounds at the beginning. Oh, and the Manticore just stood there doing nothing. Oh my goodness, I knew that was going to happen. When I put the Manticore down, I was like, you know what? I'm going to forget about the Manticore. And uh, and I totally did. But hey, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. He would have made a bit of a, di bit of a difference. Probably would have got, uh, like, gone, you know, completely feral. And we would have lost control. And we lost, uh, lost the Manticore. That's probably what would have happened. So I will happily take what we ended up getting instead, which includes almost 9k favor and 1200 souls as well. That is not a bad haul. Came at a hefty cost, for sure. Hesius is, you know, that was, I, wow. We're gonna have to be careful with him in the next battle, for sure. Again, kind of wish he was airborne, right? But uh, we've got some gold rank units, more gold rank units coming in, I should say. And look at some of these kill counts. 217 on these Chaos Trolls. We got 116 on the Giant Tide Changer. 146 on the Aquilas. 188 on these unnamed Chaos Warriors of Zinch. 204 on these Chaos Warriors with Halberds. My goodness. My goodness, these are some good numbers. Bjornling's Revenge, I cannot believe they survived. 44 kills. Mostly they were bogged down fighting an enemy uh, hero, right? An enemy, uh, what are they called again? Patriarch? Gone. Done. Dealt with. Victory for Bjornling's Revenge. I love it. And we got the Luxstone too. I'll take it. Now. Dushika is going to be sacked. We will not be able to raise it at the same time, unfortunately. But that is too much favor for us to say no to, given our current circumstances. Right? I, I, can't, say, I can't say no. The whole turn's worth a favor. So we will sack it good stuff we cannot raise it now just as a reminder right we can't go back in there our options are only to colonize it or to do nothing and i don't think colonizing it makes sense um primarily because well, it'll just be another thing we have to defend i feel like ooh, the soul of damnation has been unlocked oh ho, ho, ho. wouldn't mind using that baby uh i could return to help it to try and replenish a little bit uh, and then get ready to strike at Fort Ostrosk once we're actually properly replenished. That is probably the right way to go about doing this. Because Fort Ostrosk will make us a bit of money. 1800 approximately. Probably not a bad idea to go about it uh, that way. What's the garrison here looking like? Yeah, you know, they'll, they'll probably eliminate a, a unit or two. Oh, it's so tempting though. We do a bit of merging. We'd lose some quality units. What can I recruit over here? A couple marauders, some marauder horsemen. I can't believe these guys survived. That is ridiculous to me. Warhounds as well. Recruitment cost is something to consider as well. If I merge these two and I recruit one, it's not terrible. One and a half, one and a half units of uh, Chaos Warhounds. Okay. But Hesius is in such a state. Yornling's Revenge is in such a state as well. The question is, do I think I can win this battle without throwing those units into a risk? You know what? I think I can. Village, let's go ahead and upgrade you first, of course. Let's go ahead and get you... What? Um, we got Foe Seeker, Wound Maker, perhaps. Scarred Veteran. I mean, his health rarely ever drops. Looks like at the end there, it did take a bit of a hit, and I could have healed him with his uh, with his abilities, but uh, rarely takes a hit. Let's go with Wound Maker, sure. We have another skill point. Scarred Veteran as well, sure. Add to his HP, why not? Uh, that's all well and good. Let's go ahead and take a look at Hesius as well. Go ahead and get you what, buddy? Go ahead and get you what? Oh, I think it's finally time to make a decision. Ah, it's so difficult. So tough. Actually, you know what? Let's go with Aura of Chaos. 
Missile resistance would have been kind of helpful in that previous battle. I think that's what largely uh, did him in then. In, in, did him in in that previous uh, battle. Might have been, I can't remember if I threw him into anti-large, but let's go with Aura of Chaos because I am entirely procrastinating the decision between these three. If y'all have any thoughts, feel free to weigh in. I'm, you know what, I think I think next episode we'll get him Spell Slinger if he survives, because uh, Warrior Wizard just does not seem valuable enough to go from 35 to 40 and from 30 to 35. Yeah, I just feel like he'd be so easily taken care of. Um, we saw how quickly he was you know, reduced to basically nothing uh, in that previous battle, right? All right, go ahead and if I'm up over there, am I able to reach Fort Ostrosk? I cannot remember that. I cannot remember for the life of me. All right, fine. Let's uh, let's try it. Let's try it. And maybe I'll be just out of reach. Let's try it. Pull up to here, get at least a turn of decent replenishment, and then we'll move in towards Fort Ostrosk. Okay, with all this money in the bank, though, do we now need to chase after this army? Because that was one of the reasons we wanted to do that, right? It is a big army that has a lot of great weapons, a lot of armored costars with great weapons, a lot of armor piercing. I don't think uh, Baronor, Baronair, sorry, on his own will be able to take them on. Yeah, the balance of power is not in our favor. And can Garrulus reach? No, not in, only in Force March, and of course that doesn't really work. So I would have to dedicate both of these armies down there while this mess is going on over here. And of course neither of them are able to teleport because neither of them have enough winds of magic. And I don't have uh, the opportunity to invest in uh, channeling, right? Other option is, of course, to recruit some more units into this uh, into this army. Send them in on their own full 20 stack against their full 20 stack. Who can I recruit here? Who can I recruit? A couple of these guys. Ah, it's, you know what? That's just such a waste of money. Such a waste of hard-earned money. Alright, let's eliminate the threat. Let's go ahead and send... Garrulous, I don't think he has to force march, actually. He should be able to do a regular march. Get right up to the edge there. Yeah, we should be fine. Garrulous, you'll be our reinforcements. And, uh... Baronair, going to go in, attack. Eliminate this army, it's in force march stance. This will completely destroy them. And uh, then we don't have to worry about the threat, right? Because the moment we move these two armies in this direction, uh, these guys will uh, will see the opportunity. They'll strike at the Tower of Crack, and I'm back to square one. I'm, I'm tackling both ends. So, let's go ahead and take care of them right here and now. And uh, then we can turn our attention. Peric victory being predicted. That is rough. Oh boy, that is rough. One and a half minutes before reinforcements arrive. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. A lot of great weapons. I mean, I guess I could keep my distance and draw them out towards me. We do have ranged equipment of our own. If we can call Pink Horrors equipment, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I mean, hey. To the battlefield we go. All right, folks, here we go. <laughs> here we go, here we go. I am very nervous about this battle. I mean, they've they've come a little pre-injured, which is nice and helpful. Some of these units are uh, less than less than full health, even, even marginally so. I don't know if that'll make much of a difference, though. Channel magic? Come on, baby, come on. You gotta be on my side this time. Are you for real? How? How can you go from, like, one of the lowest numbers and then... <laughs> All right, start deployment. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and deploy heavily on one side. We're going to wait until our reinforcements arrive, and then we're going to get aggressive. Position all you guys over here. Group you up. Let's remember I have ranged units this time around. Pop you down there. Uh, we will not be able to open fire with any initial units because we don't have any initial units. But these guys over here, like so, nudge you just a bit further up. Uh, we do have some cavalry, right? Dragon Ogres and the Chaos Knights as well. Cost us with great weapons on this side. I, I, I could, if I feel like taking the risk, I could apply pressure over here. Alternatively, uh, no, I can't hide over here. Too bad. I was wondering if I could maybe apply some pressure on the other side. Uh, but no, that doesn't seem to be um, the way this cookie's going to crumble. Fair enough. We'll put them right down the middle then. We'll, we'll decide where they go depending on how the enemy moves. We'll wait until the reinforcements arrive as well and see what we can do with them. We have these aspiring champions. Let's not forget them. Put them up over there. And uh, sure, let's see how this plays out. Let's begin. Again, about a minute and a half before our reinforcements actually arrive. What are you going to do? Pull back? Pull back? Okay. And these guys in over here. Constars with spears. Great weapons. Where do they have, like, a blind spot? Yeah, I guess I guess on this side is where they have a shorter range for all their arranged equipment. Fair enough. Let's creep up to there then. And since they're pulling back, I mean, I wonder if I shouldn't adjust my positioning a bit. 
to push forward. I mean, they got to come this way eventually anyway, but I could at least, I suppose, rotate. Probably not a terrible idea. Go ahead and do that. See what that does for us. About a minute away from reinforcements. Cool. Monsters with great weapons, great weapons. Push up. Push up, let's go. See if we can cause some damage before they turn around and start firing away, right? Because again, they are firing armor-piercing ammunition. Got plenty of armor over here if we can close the gaps. We'll be okay. Oh no, they're not firing armor-piercing ammunition, actually. No, they're just in melee, they're armor-piercing. Huh. Wouldn't it have been nice if we didn't actually have to engage them in melee. Are you really only that fast? Come on. Quickly now, quickly now. These guys, let's single them out and maybe finish them off. Ah, uh, you know, I say that, but... That's a risk in and of itself, because of course, as you single one enemy unit out, the rest start firing on you, as is about to happen over here. And we go with the charge, though, into these armored Kossars, get a bit of hurt in. Good stuff, good stuff. Pull back right away, and in go the Dragon Ogres as well, into these armored Kossars over here. Get a bit of damage in, please, quickly now. Yeah, not too bad. And pull out. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, that is so much range fire. This was a fool's errand. Move, move, move. For what? For nothing. Causing some trouble, but not enough for us to, to push forward with. Because we'll get fully surrounded. Reinforcements have just arrived. Okay, fair enough. Keep pulling back. Keep pulling back. Into the trees we go. Let's move up. Like so. And reinforcements. Let's go ahead and uh, watch your glorious arrival, I suppose. Help get them into position quickly as well. Alright. What do we have over here? Great weapons. There are some spears up over there. Okay. The warhounds. Moving up over here. Let's go. Get all these trolls up over here as well. Let's go quickly now. Get the spawn coming through. Maybe up over here. Get these guys grouped up. Pushing into fire away at something. Guard mode, please. Get you moving up. Let's go, let's go. Get all these guys coming through like so. When we when we apply pressure, we got to apply pressure from all sides at the same time. Because we are, uh, again, we don't want to get anybody singled out, right? These three, I think, should actually maybe turn around and fire at, uh, at these guys. Bit of a safer pile there. Get you moving in as well. Some Kossars with spears I thought I saw. Yep, send you in there. Good stuff, good stuff. These guys are rotating once more. Cavalry is ready to charge in once more as well. Pull you up this way. Pull you up this way as well. Try and come, in, come into these guys from the side, I suppose. And they're looking like they're moving up. So we gotta open fire as soon as they get too close, right? Can I pop this anywhere? Nowhere worthwhile, because they're just gonna move. Hey, okay, firing away. Pull back, pull back. Eating some damage over here. In come our Warhounds as well. Hopefully a decent bit of damage over here. We've seen them uh, be rather impressive in the past, so hopefully they'll be impressive once more. You seriously going to get blocked by a rock there? Pull back. Get these Warhounds pulling back as well. Now let's go. Quickly. Getting some shots in. Yeah, excellent stuff. Those Armored Kossars are having some trouble. Go ahead and pop this. Now we got to move a little bit more. Let's go, let's go. Firing away now. Yeah. Get all three of you firing over here. Get the two of you firing up over there. Let's send these guys up. we got to move. Let's charge in over here. Hope these guys standing for a little bit too long. Firing away, getting a decent bit of damage done over there, it looks like. Yeah, good stuff. Go ahead and pop this. Uh, not yet, not yet, not until we're in melee. Get your firing over here. Let's send everybody in. Again, we cannot leave anything not engaged, basically. Let's push, let's push, let's push. Send these guys in, let's go. Pull you guys back a little bit. Warhounds going in up over there. No, let's send you into these armored costers. Good stuff. Pop this over where? Nowhere yet. Let the melees begin. Let the melees begin. We're all pushing in. This is good. These guys are chaos spawn. Send them in up over here. I think they were hidden, actually. They were indeed. Good shooting over here. This is going well. Up over here as well. Going pretty good. Chaos spawn coming through. Yeah, quickly now, quickly now. Or slowly, I suppose. But this is not too bad. Send these guys up there. Send these guys up there. Let's go. Got to keep applying pressure. Spawn are almost in there. Rush, rush, rush. Let's send some of the spawn off to the side over here. Into the Streltsy. And here we go. Spawn at Sinch. Diving on in to these armored Kossars with great weapons. Causing a decent bit of damage over there. Not too bad. That was alright. Down over here. Doing okay. Pull the cavalry back for another uh, charge. Still firing away from back over here. Let's send the aspiring champions in as well. I'm sure there's an opportunity to hit something. Back over here. These guys are giving up. Warhounds pull you back. Let's go. We're engaging in melee now. Let's go ahead and send these guys up. Still firing away at these armored Kossars. Let's go ahead and hit them with the uh, Warhounds. And how are we looking over here? Can we pop one of these now? A bit more reasonable up over there. Send these halberds up over there. Pull buddy into the trees. And let's go firing over there. Good bombardment over there. Don't hate that at all. Good stuff. These guys are largely taken care of. This is looking pretty good as well. Yep, yep, yep. Send you up over here. How are we feeling up there? These guys are all engaged. Yep, let's go in with a charge. Don't just stand there. Gotta actually charge in again. This is good. Okay, these guys are taken care of. Let's go ahead and turn around and fire over where? Here. Let's go. 
Get these guys moving up to fire, actually at this guy, while you push down this way. Hit that nonsense. Cool. But he's safe over here. Let's go ahead and pop another one of these right down over there. Pretty juicy target, I think. Looking good over here. Spawn a Zinch. Go in a little bit further. And you're still firing back over there. In comes the bombardment. Give me something nice. Yeah, you know, that's not too bad. Not amazing. Not terrible. Pull these guys back. These guys are still firing. Let's go ahead and send these guys in. Sitting in reserve for a little bit too long there. Good shooting over here. Oh, no. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. This isn't good. That's not good at all. He's going to take a beating over there, I think. Focus fire. Firing down over here as well. Yep. Let's get these guys back. Looking good. Looking good. Got to turn around and deal with these guys eventually as well. Those barriers, man. They're doing a lot of work for us. In we come with some uh, some shooting, I hope. Fire away in the backs of these uh, armored costars with great weapons, please. Come on, turn around, open fire, open fire. Give me a nice volley. I believe in you. Or perhaps I shouldn't. Give a couple more orders here. Yeah, they're just not shooting. I don't know why not. Move these guys up over here for some rear charges. Send you in over here. Maybe get a rear charge up there. Come on, push, push, push. Oh, there we go. Finally shooting. There we go. Ah, uh, their morale's all the way up. Let's go ahead and charge over here. Get you charging over here as well. Let's go. In we go. This should be good carnage. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. That was beautiful. That was actually a decent bit of hurt. Let's get this uh, sorcerer back. Can we pop the uh, bombardment up over here? Now let's go ahead and pop... Uh, I can't pop two bombardments, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Uh, these guys, let's move you up. Fire up over there. These guys are almost done over here. Fire away, please. Get these guys going. And probably help back over here. Again, the army's in forced march, so they're not going to survive, regardless of what happens on the battlefield. Push up over here, please, quickly now. Feeling okay. This guy's bogged down. Yeah, the boy is in trouble. Okay, looking good, looking good. Fire up over here, these costars with spears. Get these guys coming up. All right, feeling pretty good. Not too shabby. Fire away over here, please. Come on now, get rid of them. These knights and stuff are pulling around back. Pushing over here for some charges, I suppose. Good shots coming through as well. There's our victory. Oh my goodness. That was a stressful fight, but you know what? It ended up uh, working out quite well for us. I, I don't think we lost too many units there. Took a bit of damage, but that wasn't too shabby. End the battle there. Close victory. You know what? I'll take it. It said Pyrrhic was predicted. I will take that close victory gladly. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. A little too early to celebrate, though. Let's not forget all the pressure that's being applied on the other side of the Empire, right? But yeah, we took... Uh, you know, that's not, not bad. That's not bad in terms of a pure numerical uh, summary of our, of, our, of our circumstances. Some decent kill counts as well. 58 on these knights. If I, if I got a few more cycle charges in, they would have done a lot better, of course. But as the, uh, the front grew wider, they were a little uh, left um, to their own devices, let's call it. 43 and 48 kills on these pink cores of Zinch. The ones that got only 13 or so kills, they were the ones distracted by firing at an enemy lord, I believe. So that's okay. And overall, you know what? In a decent state, these guys in a decent state, actually. The reinforcing army as well. Yeah, the Warhounds, we kind of threw them in there just to distract a couple of their... Uh, their uh, ranged units, but I think it was well worth it because everyone survived. The barriers really held up. I mean, even these Marauder Horsemen did quite well. Some of our frontline units took a bit of a beating, but overall, pretty pleased. Pretty pleased, and 3,400 approximately earned from that as well. Uh, I could get another 1,300 or replenishment, 12% replenishment. We're about to travel through safe territory, so I don't know if that's really necessary, the replenishment, because we'll just be uh, replenishing through... Uh, through moving through home territory, right? So let's go ahead and take the money, because that is definitely, I think, desperate times. Sacrifice captives, thank you very much. A few units supposedly survived, but in truth, because they were in forced march, they should also be dead. Down you go. All right, good stuff. Valerie has been killed in battle. Yes, of course, the Talisman of Endurance has been gained. Baronir has gained the aspiring leader boon. Take a look at that really quickly. And it looks like Aisling was actually targeting that uh, army, but I don't think they'd actually do anything. Let's be real here. Uh, let's take a quick look at Baronir. Just want to see his path to glory over here. Aspiring leader. Gift of chaos for aspiring champions unit. Ooh. Okay. Won't complain about that. Gift of chaos for aspiring champions units. So does that mean... Oh, is, it, is this little, this little swap our... our our aspiring champions into into chaos spawn and kill them is that what this is yes this gift from the dark gods causes the unit to spontaneously die and mutate into chaos spawn surprising everyone themselves included very well i'll keep that in mind if i ever decide to use it let's go ahead and level 
uh, Baronair up as well. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at? Pleased enough with how these upgrades worked, I suppose. Um, perhaps another step of Searing Doom isn't a terrible idea. Always helpful, as we saw in that last battle as well. Meanwhile, Garrulous, let's go ahead and get you... What? Decisions, decisions. Blessed by evil. Betted Gallipot. Perhaps is a good idea. Or actually, why don't we go ahead and invest a bit more in Chaos Vanguard over here. Helping with armor for non-demonic infantry units. And melee attack as well, so I think that's probably worth it. And Hordred, meanwhile, let's go ahead and get you another step of training. Yes. Like the right call to me. I mean, yes, he could be used in battle a bit more. And in that last battle, I barely used him. Um, I wish leadership would end up on the far left-hand side. But that's just a me thing. That's just a me problem, I suppose. When reinforcements arrive, whoa, the chaos at the bottom there. Perhaps fittingly so. Let's go ahead and get, yes, another step of training. The faster we can upgrade these units, the better it is for everybody involved. Go ahead and now forced march back into safe territory. Because I think we're just outside. We are indeed. We're in allied territory, but we also got to make our way in the other direction anyway, don't we? We'll pull over to there and you as well. Uh, this guy can actually move quite far quite quickly. I, I wonder... Oh, well, I can't channel right now. There's no time to waste, so let's keep moving. Fair enough. Let's keep moving. And we've earned about, what, four turns worth of, uh, of, of, of favor? It's not terrible. I wonder if I shouldn't disband this army. We could at least merge these two, right? Sure. Saves us a bit of money, I suppose. Um, no merging to happen down over here, I don't think. Over here as well, I would rather not merge. These are our long-term units, right? So that's okay. They get to stay as they are. Just wondering, maybe there's some diplomatic options, perhaps? Never say never, right? Very close to some. Very close to some. Uh, one over here, especially. Seducers of Slanesh. Any trade agreements I could maybe pull off? How much would this actually make me? 77, 87? Eh, not really worth it, I don't think, to be perfectly honest. We'll leave that be. And I think it's time to hit the end turn button. These guys have pulled back. They're replenishing before we hi uh, hit Fort Ostrosk. Dushika will stand for a little bit longer. It is what it is. Um, we got our money's worth, literally speaking, so I think that's fine. Building upgrades will ignore, damage building will ignore, outposts, no thank you. And before I hit the end turn button, just want to see... We do have upgrades available, we just can't afford them right now. 9,500. Oh, if we did not need that third army, I'd feel so much better. I'd feel so much better. How much is it costing us right now? 2,600. Oh man, that's no joke. 2,600 saved in just even one turn alone is such a big deal. I, what, I, what I could do is... No, there, 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 I don't think I can disband these guys. I think I will need the reinforcements in, in all these battles that are headed our way. These are scary times. These are scary, scary times. And I doubt peace is forthcoming uh, in any direction. If we need the money desperately, of course, we can also always do... Uh, what is it? Uh, Vessel of Chaos? Yeah gain 5,000 favor by doing that. Seek and destroy gives us what? Steal and destroy. Sorry, not seek and destroy. Raise or sack Dieterschafen. Okay. I mean, unfortunately out of our reach right now. And despoiler of war, raid Liblia. We're kind of close to that. How much time do we have for that? Four turns for just another 800 favor. That's not going to make or break the bank. Well, let's end the turn here. I don't think we're able to actually disband that army as much as I would like to get the savings. I think we just have to stay aggressive, keep fighting battles, uh, and just try and, uh, yeah, just, just, oh my goodness. Well, I said I wanted to keep fighting battles. Seems the battles have come to me. Authority questioned once more. Overpowering force gives us more tribute from vassals. Completely useless. We'll use unbridled ferocity. Mass executions. This is not exactly what I had in mind when I said keep fighting, but this would make us a lot of money. This would make us a lot of money. A lot of spears, a lot of swords, lots of ranged. Both of them, kind of scary. I have lightning strike on village, right? At tier 3, I do indeed. So I could fight them one at a time and make whatever money there is to be made over here. Not bad, not bad. And then... I guess we actually moved too far back to hit Fort Ostrosk. So I don't mind. I'm not so upset about the uh, the interception, I guess. Uh, alternatively, we just come down to Dushika and uh, and burn it down. What does that get us, though? You know, uh, the, the pleasure of having burnt it down, sure. But we'll have another fight over here. As damaged as they are, it is still another battle we'll have to deal with. And I just don't know if that's the right call, you know? 
The other alternative, of course, is to teleport back up to here and uh, and deal with the aggression over here. Hmm. Nordland and the Wood Elves are both together over here. I don't want to fight them at the same time. Festus is moving in closer and closer. And it does look like the uh, Vanaheimlings are further south, maybe heading towards the Altar of the Crimson Harvest. So, how far can we get? Up to there and... Up to there. Jeez, that's really not amazing, is it? That's really not amazing. And we got this in front of us as well. I don't think we can pull back from this. I'm just a little concerned. We, we, we could go to Hell Pit, or we could go into this and teleport back home. Stressful. I think I want to fight. But after those two big battles, maybe we save this next one or two battles for next time, folks. This is uh, a very tense campaign. We are very close to actually getting the second uh, threshold of Path to Zanbaijin unlocked just by the sheer number of battles we've been fighting in such an enclosed space alone. It's been a good time. Hopefully this time will continue. We're at war in so many directions at the same time. It's kind of kind of ludicrous. We cannot afford a fourth army right now. Um, and like I keep saying, we, we got to fight these. We got to fight more battles if we want to keep our economy afloat. So I think we'll be diving into this right at the beginning of the next session. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this one. Dreaded 13th was, uh, you know what, once more, I would say, kind of all right, kind of okay. <laughs> Worked out for us, I think. Again, if you had a good time, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, it makes a very big difference. Just lets me know what people are interested in watching on the channel, what I should do, what I should not do, what I should speed up, slow down, or stop. As always, as well, of course, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.